everyone, welcome or welcome back. I share simple and beautiful home decor tips to help you intentionally create a curated and cozy home. In today's video, we are going to be talking about all things thrifting. I will be taking you around my home and sharing all of the different thrifted pieces that I have. We will also style some of my recent thrifted finds, and I will also share with you some tips for thrifting. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for taking the time to give this video a like. It really does help out my channel so much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I know that thrifting is not for everyone. However, I will say that if you can have a little bit of an open mind and a kind of clear idea of the things that you love and like to look for when you go thrifting, it really does help when you are out at the stores, keeping your eye open for those pieces that you want to bring into your home. I am pretty selective about the things that I do bring home with me when I am out on a thrifting adventure and that really does help me not just buy things at the thrift store just for the sake of buying them because they are affordable. It helps me to really focus and narrow in on the things that I really do want to bring into my home. I also love to incorporate vintage and antique finds into my home. I just think that it really helps to bring in that charm and character and helps to create a home that is a little bit more unique. If you love unique home decor, thrifting is a really great way to bring those pieces into your home because more often than not, a lot of finds that you come across at the thrift store are things that other people are not going to have. And if you're willing to put in a little bit of work, like maybe do a little bit of painting or cleaning, you can really transform some pieces and make them beautiful for your home. One thing I do suggest when it comes to thrifting and DIYing is to really know your limitations or what you are capable of when it comes to those projects. I know for me personally, there are certain projects that I am just not capable of. It's just not in my realm of expertise. Anything that requires a lot of uh, repairs or handiwork, that's just not my area of expertise. I am all about refinishing furniture, using paint to transform furniture pieces, very minor repairs, but anything that is a super big project that requires a lot of hammering and sawing and measuring, and that's just a little bit out of what I am capable of doing right now. So I would say when you are out thrifting and looking at different items, to kind of keep that in the back of your mind, just so that you are choosing pieces that you are going to be successful with when you are redoing them or refinishing them. That's just a little tip that I kind of keep tucked away when I am thrifting. In my home, I do have quite a few pieces that I have thrifted and transformed over the years. Mainly the places that I like to go thrifting are Goodwill and Salvation Army. I also really love to use Facebook Marketplace. If you have the time to kind of peruse and look around your local area, Facebook is a really great place to find some affordable finds for your home that you can easily transform just with paint or a little bit of cleaning. Okay, so let's get back into talking about home decor pieces. Now, the first couple pieces that I want to, to share with you in my home are some furniture pieces that I have found on Facebook Marketplace. The first one that I want to talk about is actually a large cabinet that I found on Facebook. And the lady that I got it from was just the sweetest person in the world. And she ended up letting me have this cabinet for free. Again, I love antique pieces. So this is an antique piece of furniture. So it does have some imperfections in it, but that's perfectly okay with me because I really do think that it adds to the charm and character in my home. Now this piece has lived in my guest room for a while, but we recently converted the guest room into my husband's office because he is working from home now. So the cabinet has made its way up into my new office and I just absolutely love having it in here. 
Another furniture piece that I purchased from Facebook Marketplace was the antique dresser that I have in my entryway. Now, when I originally bought this piece of furniture, it was a kind of orangey oak color and it just wasn't really working in my space and we recently replaced the hardwood floors um, in the entire main level of our home and the color really just didn't work with the new floors at all so I decided to give it a little bit of a makeover and I painted it white. Now when I am repainting furniture I often will use chalk paint because it is very very forgiving and typically really easy to work with Usually it doesn't require a primer. Now with this dresser, I did actually put a layer of primer down before I applied the chalk paint just because I didn't want those orange tones to come through at all. But when I was finished with the piece, it looked like a brand new piece of furniture, brand new as in it looked totally transformed. Now it is an antique piece, so it's never going to look completely brand new. But again, I love that look in my home and I really love how it came out. So I mentioned earlier that we did move my husband's office down into our guest room so that he had a nice quiet space to be able to work from home, which left the office that we once shared uh, as a space that was just going to be for me, which I was really excited about. So I went on the hunt for a new desk for my space. And of course I went to Facebook marketplace first. I came across this really beautiful antique desk and I have really been enjoying styling it and getting everything to come together in my new office. The last furniture piece that I want to talk about is a, another Facebook marketplace find. I was in need of a little side table for our sitting room and of course I just didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money so I found this little side table on Facebook. I believe I only paid $15, $20 for it and you can see with the before pictures here that it definitely needed a little bit of a facelift so I sanded down the top of it a little bit and then and applied a fresh coat of white chalk paint all over the whole thing and sealed it and it looks absolutely beautiful styled in our sitting room. Now I'm going to be sharing some of the more recent thrifted finds that I have come across. I went randomly into Goodwill one evening. I was out running a couple errands and I was by myself and I thought, okay, well, I might just take a few minutes and pop into Goodwill just to see what's there. And it must have been my lucky night because I found so many good finds on this particular trip. One thing that is on my list of items that I like to look for when I am thrifting are white dishes and pottery pieces and on this particular evening I came across the Faultscraft um, Heritage line and this is one particular item that I do loosely collect. I don't have a ton of space in my home to display things like this so I'm pretty selective about what I do purchase but these pieces were absolutely beautiful. Somebody must have dropped off just a whole lot of them. And um, unfortunately there was only one coffee cup, which was totally fine with me. I actually just style a little faux plant in here on my kitchen or in my, on my shelf in my kitchen and it looks really sweet. So I came across this lot and there were four bowls, four salad plates, and there was also a gravy boat. So I went ahead and scooped them all up. I think that they were only, I think the plates were $2 a piece. The coffee cup, I believe was only a dollar. The gravy boat, I believe was only $2. I have some other footage that I'll insert so that you can see things close up and also the prices that I paid for them. And I absolutely love the way that they look styled on my shelf in my kitchen. If you haven't caught my recent spring kitchen decorate with me, you can see how I styled all of these on that shelf. On that same trip where I found the white Faultscraft dishes, I also picked up this sweet little antique 
croc. I absolutely loved this. It was just the perfect size in perfect condition and it was only a couple dollars. I have it styled on my kitchen counter with a little plant in it and it looks so sweet. Along with that, I also have this white pitcher that I picked up. These are the kind of little white pottery pieces that I always keep my eye out for when I am thrifting and this one I thought was just so sweet. So another thing that's on my list that I like to look for when I am out thrifting are different baskets. And this particular basket that I'm going to share with you now, I found on Facebook Marketplace and it was only $10. And it is the hearth and hand basket that you can actually find at Target. And I picked this up for my desk. So right now I just have a couple things housed in here, but it is really pretty. It was in perfect condition and I thought $10 for this piece you I couldn't beat. It was definitely more affordable than buying it brand new in the store. Book Marketplace thrift stores are a really great place to look for storage items to use in various places around your home. I have two more baskets that I want to share with you that I found on Facebook Marketplace. She sold both of these baskets for $25 and they are these beautiful vintage grapevine baskets. I am still looking for the perfect place to style these and I will show you footage of the larger one because it's pretty large and too big for me to hold up right here for you to see. But they are absolutely beautiful and I couldn't beat the price. If I were to look for these in an antique store, they would be well above $25 for one of them. So I was just so excited when I came across these on Facebook and I scooped them right up. I am working on a makeover in my laundry room and I just also purchased two other large baskets, one of which I am going to be painting. I'm not particularly fond of the gray blue color that it is, but again, that is something really easy. You can paint baskets with spray paint and they can totally trans and that can totally transform the look of them. I purchased this other large vintage laundry basket. I only paid $10 for this basket and I cannot wait to style them in my new laundry room. Another thing that I love to keep my eye out for when I am thrifting is artwork. Now artwork can be a little bit trickier only because a lot of times the frame that the piece might come in might not be the best quality or sometimes they're strange colors or have a strange design on them. However, one thing that you can do is you can always flip it over and check the back and see if you can remove the piece of art and then just reframe it. The other thing that you can do is see if you could paint the frame or a lot of times I will use rub -it buff on the frame just to give it a little bit more of an antique feel and change the color. Now I looked out with this particular piece that I'm going to share with you at Goodwill because not only did I love the frame but I also love the art piece, the landscape in it. The frame is this really pretty wood color and I just fell in love with it. I am looking forward to styling it in my entryway. I think for right now, I'm going to style it on the dresser. I'm working on a little bit of a project on the other side of our entryway, and I think I'm actually going to move it over there on the wall. I'm excited to share that little transformation with all of you, but yeah, definitely keep your eye out for artwork when you are thrifting because there are some really good finds to be found out there. Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk to you about when it comes to thrifting and something that I often will keep my eye out for or if I am particularly in the market for lamps, I will usually start with Facebook Marketplace or the thrift store because it can be really, really easy to transform a lamp and turn it into something completely different, give it a completely different look. I needed some new lamps for our bedroom and also for our living room, and I found uh, the set of two lamps for our bedroom and the one that I found for our living room on Facebook Marketplace. So the lamps that I found for our bedroom, I only paid $20 for the set of two. Now, when I was shopping for lamps, I was looking for lamps that had a particularly large stature to them because I wanted something that made a little bit of a statement on our nightstands. Now, when you look at designer websites, lamps of this size that I found 
found on Facebook are well over hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And that is just not in my budget right now to spend that much money on lamps. So I found these two on Facebook, scooped them up and decided that I was going to use some paint to transform them. And what I did was just use a technique where you mix in some baking soda and I will show you um, a few clips on how I did that and painted the base of the lambs, this really pretty neutral kind of warm gray color. And then I replaced the lampshades. I found some really pretty lampshades on uh, Amazon. I found they were on sale. I paid $20 for both of the lampshades and put the whole look together. And I don't think that you would even guess that these lamps were this really interesting kind of mauve peachy kind of color. I love how they turned out. And I think that it really just added that height that was needed next to our bed. Now, when I was working on our living room makeover, there were some pieces in our living room that I decided that were going to be a bit of an investment, like our new couch, because I specifically wanted a couch that had a removable slip cover that I could wash the entire thing with our kids and dogs. I just needed something that was going to be easy to keep clean. So I looked for some places in some other areas of the room uh, makeover where I could save just a little bit of money and lamps was one of those areas where I thought that I could do that. I found this lamp again on Facebook. I paid $10 for the lamp and it wasn't a bad color when I picked it up. It was kind of like a blue gray. Um, it looked like it may have been painted before, but it just wasn't quite the right color for the space. So I found a picture on a designer website that I wanted to use as inspiration. And I got some paint, used that baking soda technique again with a paper towel and a couple different colors, lights and darks, mixed them together to create this kind of aged look on the bottom of the lamp. And I think that it came together so nicely. I was lucky that the lampshade on this lamp Lamp that it came with was in really good condition. So all I did was buy a slightly shorter inside of the lamp where you attach the lampshade just to lower it a little bit. And it looked like a completely new lamp. All right, y'all, that about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got some inspiration to go thrifting and find some really great finds for your home. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, a really wonderful way to show your support is to give this video a like and to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much, and I will see y'all soon in my next one.